everybody. So my name is Tiffany and today I'm going to be preparing a German pancake. The reason why I chose this is because of my family history. I am mostly German. Another reason that I have decided to make this is because in my household we love breakfast food. We do breakfast food for dinner um, several times throughout the month and I thought why not try something a little bit different. Um, pancakes are one of my mom's favorite dishes so I normally try to make those every once in a while for her and so we're going to try this. So some of the things that you're going to need is a blender and I'm making mine in a cast iron skillet but from my understanding you could do this in a um, maybe brownie or pie pan if you don't have that. So the ingredients that you're going to need are three eggs, a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of flour, two tablespoons of melted butter, and I have already melted it, and then you're also going to need a tablespoon of sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and I've just kind of mixed all those together right there. And all you're going to do is put everything in here and then blend it up real smooth. Okay, so I am back. I have blended up everything. Um, it says that you're supposed to blend it until it's smooth. So basically I just kind of started it on low and built it up to high for about 30 seconds. So one of the things that you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 450 degrees and then you're going to put your iron skillet in there and let it heat up. You want it warm before you put the batter in there. So let me get that. Alrighty, all nice and hot. You also want to grease the skillet before you put your batter in there. I do not have any spray grease, which is what the recipe calls for, so I'm just going to splash in a little bit of olive oil and just kind of swirl it around until it's coated. Get up the sides just a little bit. You really don't want anything sticking. This is also a nice workout because these things are quite heavy. Alright. So the next thing you want to do is just pour your batter in there and then you're going to put it in the oven and you're going to cook it for about 12 to 18 minutes. Okay. So one of the toppings that I personally really enjoy on pancakes is the cinnamon sugar apple topping. So one of the things you're going to get is an apple. I believe this one is a gala, but you can do Granny Smith, any other kind you want. I prefer a softer apple, so I don't do the Granny Smith. And you're going to cut it up into pieces about yay big. Um, you can do it smaller, you can do it bigger just depending on your preference. You're going to get a knob of butter, put that in a pan, and then I got about a tablespoon of sugar and probably a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and we're gonna cook all this together so let's go over to the stove and I'll show you how it's done.
Okay, so it's been uh, right at 12 minutes right now. Um, so my pancake cooked for about 11 minutes. I've already pulled it out. So this is what it looks like straight out of the oven. Um, and another thing that you can do, especially if you have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so this can kind of be a little bit of an indulgence thing, is sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar on it. And as you can see, I'm getting it everywhere. So just the hair, um, I won't even use all that's in here. It's just, just a pinch. Um, makes it a little bit nice and pretty. All right. So this is what it looks like right now. What? It's beautiful. All right. And the last thing you want to do is put the topping on. So I'm going to actually cut up a piece real quick and put one on there so I can show you the finished product. Alrighty, so this is what the final product looks like plated up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how to make German pancakes. If you look down in the description box, there should be a recipe along with some other information. Thank you for watching and I hope y'all have a good one. Bye.